Hi, Larry Skews here. I'm talking for the Corsair here at Santa Monica College. Uh, we just did some coverage for the Oscars, and I'm here with David Nigerman, my uh, partner in crime here, my cinematographer. And uh, I'm a student at Santa Monica College. We're both students and also a member of Santa Monica College's Student Film Association, which has had speakers like Oliver Stone and Norman Lear. We covered the Oscars, and at the Oscars for 2008, I interviewed Regis Philburn and also Sid Jan Gannis, the president of the Academy and the producer of uh, the program. And so uh, that's it. Over and out. Happy trails. Larry Skews for the Corsair. Regis, I remember you from San Diego, man. Remember, yeah, remember when you had Governor Re you had Governor Reagan before he was president? Absolutely right. Could you do me a favor and say that, that this is uh, Regis Philbin right here? What do you want me to say? You say this is Regis Philbin at the Oscars. This is Regis Philbin at the Oscars. And uh, I, hello, I'm with uh, hello, My Black Hollywood Magazine. I'm the token Caucasian guy. I myself. It's called My Black Hollywood. Here we go, I'm guys. My Black Hollywood Magazine. I'm the token white guy. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks a lot, Regis. He's joking around right now. He's doing some interviewing. <laughs> He's pretty cool, you know? He's pretty nice. Follow him, follow him. Okay, let's go. Yeah, Regis Philbin used to be in San Diego in Channel 8. He's local. He had Governor Reagan before he was president on his program. Now Regis now is, follow, is walking down and a lot of people are following him. Uh, I guess after he's, I guess he's going over to his trailer right now. Hi, I'm Larry Skuse and here we are at the Oscars and we're going one of the various spots that, right, we're right on the side of where the bleachers are, where a lot of the fans and groupies, uh, people go. And uh, we're uh, talking in front of, again, our Mr. Oscar here, the Oscars here, we got a couple of flowers. And we just got through talking to uh, Regis Philburn. Regis Philburn said, hi, uh, I'm talking to My Black Hollywood and that I, I was the token white person for My Black Hollywood. And um, I saw Regis Philburn when I lived in San Diego. He was, had a t he was on the news and he had a talk show. And on the talk show, he actually had President Reagan. At the time, President Reagan was Governor Reagan at that time and I remember seeing him there and that was very interesting. Uh, you've been asked before about uh, how the uh, strike affected, you know, the, the uh -huh. Golden Globes, how, how it affected you and, and what plans that you had and also what is the process of your uh, of the process of your the voting, how does the voting? Do they? Is, you, I overheard you before. Somebody else was saying that they you watch every film. Does everybody yeah, watch every sure. film? Well, I hope so. And or they, they at least, it? if they don't watch every film, then they shouldn't vote in the category right, right. that they're watching. I think most Academy members understand that. But to answer your first question, um, we you know we're all we're all show. People, I guess you would say and therefore we knew we had to put on a show and we set our gears into motion to put on a show and we did you know when we would have done it if we had to do it another way as well you were talking about plan B before you had plan, a back, you had a backup yeah, we had a backup plan that we hope we didn't have to use and the good news is we don't have to use it well, if you do me a favor just say say your name I'm with my say that I'm talking to my black Hollywood magazine is my magazine what's it called Oscars. my black Hollywood okay uh, I'm Sid Gannis and I'm uh, talking to uh, the editor of My Black Hollywood Magazine. I wish I'm the senior writer. I oh, wish okay. I was the editor. You, uh, okay. one, one last thing. On the, getting back to the process, do they, for the people out there, do they actually send you something or to go to a screening room to see the nominated films? I go to the movies as much as I can and then when I can't, I don't like to do it, but I'll watch a film on DVD. But I go to the movies. I go to the movies all the time. Great. Okay, thank well, thank you, you Grant. Sir. You're thank welcome. You. Thanks for taking You're welcome. Hi, how are you doing? Good. Nice to see you. I remember your question. Hopefully, just um, the fact that the writers are back. Does yeah. this, you know, it's the 80th year, the writers are back. Is this going to be an even more exciting show than it usually is because of that? I, I think it's exciting in the same sense. You know how you feel good after you stop hitting your head against the wall? So what 
it's the same principle. I mean, this question of the writer's strike and whether we're going to do the A show or the B show, it occupied so much of our time and attention that the opportunity to focus on the one show, which is the good show that we're going to do on Sunday night, uh, is, 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 is wonderful for all of us. And why are you so excited about that show? What's so exciting? You know, it, it's film, and film is the universal language. And uh, the films this year, I think the best pictures are wonderful. Uh, they're, they're thoughtful films, uh, they're films that mean something, they examine everything from teenage pregnancy to uh, oil to, uh, you know, gangsterism. They, they, really, they really touch on, uh, on a real life, and as such, I think they're worthy films to be nominated. Yeah, and I asked Sid, will this set the tone really for the show? I think the tone's going to be set by John Stewart. I think that's one of the reasons that I love him as the host. Uh, he's uh, very much today political man, and I think that uh, I think that the audience is going to love my seen his material, and it's very appropriate for 2008. And can I just go back to my okay, can I just go back to my question because John's doing this? We do expect some political stuff to come out. Obviously, I would be surprised if there weren't any. Absolutely. All right, thanks. One question. Thank you. Hey, how are you? If we look at the ceiling here, are you going to expect rain tomorrow? Well, we're prepared for it. If it decides to rain tomorrow, that's okay with us. It'll, it'll water the flowers, you know. Right. The flowers will grow better if it, if, uh, if it rains. And we're ready for it. That's great. So, is there any possibility that the ceiling uh, might be taking off? If the weather forecast uh, becomes... If we're sure that the, web, the weather forecast is no rain, yeah, we'll take it off. It takes about five hours to get it off. Oh, wow. Yeah. So that's going to be a kind of risky thing, and because we don't want to get the stars, uh, we don't want the right. stars get wet, right? Yeah. So it's not going to be risky in the sense that if there's any chance of rain, we're going to leave it on. Mm -hmm. All right. Cool. So thank you very much for this interview. You're welcome. And I hope to be en to um, enjoy a great show this year. And the funny thing about this is, it's the 80th o Oscars in the year 2008, right? Yeah. That's kind of, it's a magical uh, date. Eight is the number. Can I tell you one other thing? Sure, definitely. My birthday, January 8th. What the heck? I hadn't thought about oh any of that. Is that tomorrow? Is that party? Only? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to wrap up. <laughs> Great. <laughs>